Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me today. Um, I just wanted to take you through the journal that I've just completed. If you've watched my last two videos, then you'll know that I'm doing a journal using the book from Beatrix Potter, Mrs Tittlemouse. And the kits that I've paired with this is the uh, Croak Toad Kit from Amy at Crafty Cat USA. And I've also used some of the images from her um, Ribbit Kit, which is the frog one. Um, to me, it had to be Mrs. Tittlemouse when I saw those kits because Mrs. Tittlemouse has um, a few visitors and one of them is a toad and Mr. Jackson, his name is, and he, he leaves wet footprints everywhere in her little house and she likes to keep it nice and tidy. So it just, that's what it spoke to me about. So that's what I've done. I'm really pleased how it turns out. I think this has got to be one of my favourite journals. Um, it's hardcover, so it's made of card, double card. And the spine is semi-soft, so it's kind of a soft fabric spine that I've attached. Um, some lovely fabric. So I think they're all vintage fabrics. Um, it's got a green ribbon closure and there is some ruffle trim on the, those pages as well. And the story of um, Mrs Tittlemouse is intact. Sorry, I think I'm a bit low, aren't I? Is that better? The story of Mrs Tittlemouse is intact throughout this book, so... I hope you're going to like it. There are about 200 and I think I counted 214 pages um, front and back and it has four, four signatures. So it is quite a chunky monkey and it weighs about 700 grams. So it is a heavy journal, um, but I love it. So on the book, I've used the cover of Mrs. Tittlemouse. And of course, that's by Beatrix Potter. And that opens, you can take this ribbon out if you wanted to put something else in. But that opens up and there's a little um, library card pocket just there. And a little Jeremy Fisher journaling card in there. And he's peeking out at that. So Jeremy Fisher obviously is a frog. And then it's got one of those journaling cards. These are all either the croak or the um, ribbit kit that I used. So on the inside, this is the... Uh, journal pages are all the uh, croak toad kit so I've used some of Mrs Cog's um, small images of Miss, Mrs Tittlemouse that she does so I put that on one of Amy's papers so it looks as I, to me it looked as if she was going into that little house and then there's a little bit there that's about the story of Mrs Tittlemouse she likes a very tidy home I think I had it that way didn't I so the papers, as I say, are from Amy. This journal is big, but it does lay flat. It's just a bit stiff at the minute because it's new, but it will lay flat. Beautiful image there. <clears throat> um, I think I made this one with you um, in one of the previous videos. So it's an envelope that I've put Mrs Tittlemouse behind and some of Amy's papers. And then there's a journaling card in there. And then one of her toads on the um, mushroom that she did. And then I think this little ticket is from her bits and pieces tags or labels, little little labels. And then there we've got a journaling card. And I use the ones with the beetles on because, as you'll see when you read the story, Mrs. Tittlemouse is plagued by beetles and Mr. Jackson and bees and all sorts. So there's one of the journaling cards that comes with the kit there. That just goes in there. So I say it does lay flat. It just needs a little bit of use uh, my tea dyed papers and again there's mrs tittlemouse and this is where the bees are in her storeroom and i've just put some little bits of um, cotton on there uh, that's a vintage book page that has like um, tracing paper over them so i left that as it was I want just some little bits of paper in there that you can use to decorate this journal if you wanted to or you can use it as a notepad a little corner tuck there these papers of Amy's are from her either her regal kit, the dog kit or the cat kit. And then this one, um, I've forgotten the name of the squirrel. How can I forget the name of the squirrel? But that pulls out. Squirrel, I want to say squirrel nutkin. <laughs> I think it is. But that pulls out and this is from Amy's spring has sprung kit. So there's just some extra journaling space on there. It's funny how you do a video and your mind just goes completely blank. Um, that flips out so you've got some journaling space there or you can stick a, an image or something on. 
there's Mrs Tittlemouse again and then I've just um, put papers around the edge of the some of the coffee dyed paper there on on the um, floral book pages that I used I've tried to put to pick um, plants that I thought Mrs Tittlemice might might use in her storeroom so sheep sorrel and broadleaf dock there common chickweed and greater stitch wart there again Amy's beautiful papers and some uh, ruffle and the story begins and these little um, guinea pigs it kind of turned into a kind of Beatrix Potter journal as I was going along. Um, it just went so well with Amy's papers. And on her spring has sprung, sprung kit, she has these little um, guinea pigs. And to me, they're off doing the garden. And I've, I've imagined that that's Mrs Tittlemouse's garden. And she's got the guinea pigs going in to help her keep it nice. You do think some odd things when you're making journals. Um, so the first signature, all of them have got um, beads in. So there's two with green beads and two with just plain see-through beads but they are glass um, a card journaling card on there and one on there again that's from the spring has sprung lovely book page there mrs tittlemouse there she is sleeping in her bed and that again is amy's papers with the toad on the mushroom we've got mistletoe, mistletoe and fat hen there and it tells you what you can eat the leaves and things like that. So it's quite an interesting book that I found and used. So there she, she tells you that she's sleeping in a box. That again, it flips out. And then behind there, there's Mrs. Tittlemouse sleeping in her box. In her little bed box. And there's just some extra writing space there. And it's telling us there that um, sometimes a beetle loses its way and she has to shoo shoo it because they've got dirty little feet. So they're the, the little beetles that she's shooing out of her little house. And then that's just collaged onto there and I've put the, to uh, the frog on it. But you could write on that if you wanted to. And again, that's the back of that book page. Another little snip from Mrs Cog there. And that's where the mouse or the mice are toasting Mrs Tittlemouse there. There she is sweeping out her her beetles and the ladybirds. And then this flips out. And there's a tuck spot just there. And there's a tuck spot in there. So again, it's those beetles and the toad there that I've stuck on. And then one of her little bits and bobs labels. And a toad there with a stag beetle on. So this is the second signature. And you can see that lovely fabric through there. So this one um, has a, f a flip that a flip that flaps up. Does that make sense? I think we made this together as well. It's got a pocket just there, and I've stuck that toadstool and toad on there. And then it's got another pocket there. And there, of course, there the the um, Benjamin Bunny and Peter Rabbit and friends. So I think the little rabbit there is spying at the toad just there. That just goes down and then there's a tuck spot just there and again the toad. So I've imagined all these little snails and slugs and things make their way into Mrs Tittlemouse's parlour. Again my papers and a little snip there with one of the um, beetles from Amy's kit and some threads. And again she's trying to get rid of all the beetles out of her little house and the spiders. I just thought the papers just all went together so nicely. There she is, she's bundling the spider out of the window. And then some of the fabrics just got little beetles on. So I use that up as well. There's Mrs Tittlemouse. She's got a bee in her house. She's not very happy again. They come because they can smell the um, honey, I think. And then that just flaps open so you can put something on there if you wanted to. And again, it's the, the little um, guinea pig going to do the gardening. They're all the way through this. I just couldn't resist it. And then there's a, a little tuck spot there. And that has paper in it with extra. And then the centre page there. So you can, again, this can all be written on. And the toad. There's another extra writing space just there. 
they're, they're glued at the bottom so that won't fall out. Again, the beetles, not the group. Babbity Bumbles coming in, ziz, biz, biz. I think they eat all her food and just make a nuisance of themselves. There's a lovely butterfly there. There's still a lot of room in this journal to write. There's the bees in the storeroom. But I like to follow the story as well. And then I've just collaged on that paper there. And there's a tag tucked behind it. And then that lifts up and you've got some extra journaling space just there. It is quite stiff, as I say, but it is laying flat if you can see, look. Another little snip just there. And here we have Mr Jackson. Mr Jackson is the toad and I think he's looking at Jeremy Fisher there. So we've got a couple of toads and a frog and lots of beetles. Again, that journaling card in there. And then the we're on the third signature, aren't we now? So that um, this is one of Amy's CD cases that I've not put a window on. I've left it whole so I've made it into a tuck spot but I've left that open so that you can just tuck some journaling cards behind there so I've put a range of them that I had left over from the kits and then I've cut that out of one of the books I've got and there we have squirrel nutkin so he's perhaps coming to visit Mrs Tittlemouse and he's bought some plant for her to put in her in her storeroom Mr Jackson's very wet and he wants to sit and dry himself so his, all the water's dripping off his coattails so she's got to mop it up and she's trying to offer him some dinner so she offers him cherry stones but he's got no teeth so he can't eat them. <laughs> he's opening his mouth wide there to eat the cherry stones look and there's a toad watching. And she gives him some thistle down. I don't think he likes that either. A couple of recipes in here that uh, Mrs Tittlemouse might be, might be baking. That opens. Tiddly widdly widdly, puff puff puff, Mr Jackson says. And what he really wants is a dish of honey and she doesn't want to share her honey. I just love the way this journal's turned out. Amy, your papers have been just such a dream to use and I guess we all see or find inspiration in different things in journals and to me this just had to be Mrs Tittlemouse. Um, part of a book page there that I had and then a, another journaling card and again I've put one of the images from Mrs Cog on there that shows the mouse um, and I think she's looking at that beetle saying no don't come in don't come into my house another journaling card again and that just opens up for more more journaling space and there we have Mr Jackson I think all the um, Beatrix Potter stories are such fun beautiful beautiful beetle I had to use that as the center I couldn't cut him in half and have half a beetle in the front and half in the back um, again one of the papers from Amy with extra space and then that just flips open get that beetle silverweed and tormentil Tufted vetch and common vetch, and that's such a pretty flower. I think I don't I don't know if it's a weed or not, but it's um it's so pretty when you see it. Yeah, it grows in hedges, grassy places, and arable fields. There she is, she's mopping up Mr. Jackson's wet footprints and following him, <laughs> following him with a mop. That flips open. Tiddly widdly widdly, no honey, no honey. Mm-hmm. And then on this book, pile of books, there's a tiny little toad just there. And again, there's just some threads behind it. Little beetles. And I've done a little tuck spot here with one of the journaling cards. And again, there's Mr. Jeremy Fisher there. I wonder if him and Mr. Jackson were friends. Mr. Jackson doesn't get a book of his own in uh, Beatrix Potter. Lovely toad. And then this, there's a pocket just there. Mr. Jackson doesn't like the bees, or the bees don't like Mr. Jackson. There's a little toad there. And then that flips out 
and there's a journaling space behind there. And then there's the ladybird again, one of the images from Mrs. Cog and the little ladybird there with the mouse. And that flips it over and it's just, you can write on this and you can stick something on there if you don't like snails. And again, that beautiful beetle. And then she's decided that she's going to make um, the hole too small for Mr. Jackson to fit through because she doesn't want him coming in her house again. <laughs> It's one way of doing it, I suppose. Lovely toad there and that lovely little, looks like a ladybird, but it's yellow. Dog Rose and Bramble. And there she is, she's making her house a little bit smaller with the beeswax, so Mr. Jackson can't fit in. Again, we've got the beautiful little um, guinea pigs coming to in the garden and they've got the watering can and the little fork and spade. And then there's Babbity Bumble there. centre of the last one and as I say there's two that have got the clear beads on and then two that have got the green beads another um, journaling card there that comes with the kits and that one there which is too tired to do any more scrubbing there meadow sweet and agrimony wood avens and wild strawberries she is cleaning up and then she's going to give a party now this flips out it's an envelope so if we look at that i've done a journaling card behind there it's got the frog on it and that just fits it oh it does fit in behind there and then there's um mrs tittlemouse just there and there she is having a party with her friends so that just fits on there and then that just flips out so you can write on this if you want to or stick something on it. There are they, there they are having their dance and there she is polishing her silver. And uh, unfortunately, is the one we're showing him? It doesn't fit through the door anymore so he's got to um, sit at the window and they're giving him an acorn of... Uh, wine or mead or milk or whatever it is the drink just there there she is wiping up his feet that's just journal card and then there's um that's a window envelope that i've made into a pocket and then on the back page i've just made a tall pocket there and i've put the toad on and the beetles there as well so it matches that that just slips in there and then in the back there there's one of the uh, pages I had left over with the toad and the stag beetle on. So that is my um, Mrs Tittlemouse journal completely inspired by Amy's beautiful um, journal uh, journal papers of um, croak which is the toad and ribbit which is the frog so I hope you like this um, when this video goes out, I'll actually be away on holiday. We're not back until the end of June. So this journal will sit here with me until then. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I love this journal very much. Um, I hope you like it too. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you when I get back from holiday. Take care. Bye.